And new developments tonight. A judge increased the bond for the UConn student accused of killing two people, kidnapping and home invasion. 23-year-old Peter Manfredoni arrived in Connecticut from Maryland this morning. This after an extensive search last month spanning four states. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Zeller has more now from Rockville Superior Court where bond has been set at $7 million. It started off at $5 million and a judge raised that bond to $7 million today. The reason, the judge says, the state has a solid case and the charges are severe. The defendant presents a particular danger to the community. Called a danger to the community and a flight risk, Peter Manfredonia didn't say a word at his arraignment hearing at Rockville Superior Court today. The hearing was virtual because of COVID-19. The judge talked to attorneys, the bail commissioner, and the suspect through a TV screen. Uh, these are extremely serious charges. Last month, investigators say Manfredonia killed a man in Willington and hurt another man, then broke into a home and stole guns and a car. They say the crime spree continued to Derby, where Manfredonia killed an acquaintance and kidnapped that man's girlfriend, then left her in New Jersey, but he kept going. A massive manhunt spanned four states from Connecticut to New Jersey to Pennsylvania to Maryland. Manfredonia was caught by Connecticut State Police detectives at a truck stop in Maryland two weeks ago. Incredible work from the state police and the FBI and our brothers and sisters and other law enforcement agencies that Manfredonia was, was found and apprehended. Uh, if not for that, I'm not sure when we would have found him. In court today, they talked about the Willington murder and home invasion. As for Derby, he hasn't been charged in those crimes yet, so more charges are pending. Manfredonia's attorney, Michael Dolan, says the Yukon student worked as a painter during the summer months. He was never in trouble with the law before. He didn't say much outside court, but he did comment about his client's bond being raised. His family wasn't prepared to, to make what the court had previously said or what the bail commissioner had um, had recommended, so it was, I mean, different to what the, what the court said it at. The wife of the Willington man murdered was at the courthouse today. I asked her about Manfredonia being in court, and she says, quote, it will go in the direction it needs to. With the Mobile Newsroom, Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.